been a little while since we gave you an update on OS X Yosemite. And now that the developers have got their hands on Beta 4, this is the perfect opportunity to give you a taste of the little updates that have been sneaked in. First up is the calculator, which should have been updated a long time ago. Gone is the boring grey and green calculator which has been replaced with a new iOS matching companion. Of course, this doesn't change or add any new functions, but it looks a whole lot better now that it finally matches its iOS cousin. Apple has also slightly changed how you enable dark mode within Yosemite, with just a quick switch under the general panel in system preferences, and there you have it. Now that I've got it working, I think I'm going to keep the dark mode running all the time, but what do you prefer? Let us know in the comments down below. Before this update, my MacBook would freeze if I had a few too many tabs open in Safari and it would also stick when I woke it up. Along with my favourite fix of Yosemite, which is that final cut finally works, so I can edit on the move. There's also a slight refresh for the neglected QuickTime app, which hasn't seen any real changes in quite some time, but it now has a new icon, a new design and new sharing features. Along with Beta 4, Apple also released the new iTunes 12, which has had a slight refresh in the design department, making it sleeker and easier to use than ever, featuring a new navigation menu, as well as some new music sorting options. Make sure to keep an eye out for the full video on the new iTunes 12 later this week. Well, that's it for this video, but what do you think? Is Apple doing enough to keep its system fresh? If so, what's your favourite feature? Let us know in the comments down below. It's also a good time to mention that the public beta of OS X Yosemite is out later this month, so if you want to get it a little bit earlier than most, keep an eye out on cultomac.com. Until next time, check out the iOS 8 and Yosemite playlists right here, where you can find out everything you need to know about the latest Apple software. Also, please hit the like button if you did like this video, as it really does help us out. And if you haven't already, make sure to tap that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video from Cultomac seven days a week. I'll see you next time.